What's good everybody, Chris here again. Chris goes outdoors back up in New Hampshire today and we are hiking around in the uh, Mount Passaconaway, like square ledge area. I'm coming up here doing a very weird kind of section of trails. So it's just trails that I haven't really been on. Uh, and we're gonna end up hitting, in theory, Mount Passaconaway and square ledge. And then just hitting a bunch of mileage to knock out some trails in the area that we haven't been in. Continue the quest for the red line of the White Mountain National Forest. So according to the, uh, the little GPS thing I use, it should be around like 4,700 feet of elevation over like 13 and a half, 14 miles. So we got our work cut out for us, but it's a beautiful day. It was 40 when I started this morning and uh, I was supposed to get up to 70 today. And then, I don't know, tomorrow. Tomorrow might be a little sketchy. So we're trying to get most of the mileage out of the way today. So we're gonna shut up and carry. So we're making our way up the Kelly Trail right now. It's just been pretty thick woods for the most part, uh, but I just got, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half up it. And we're just crossing through this kind of like gulch area. There's a little stream going through and there's just like rock walls on both sides, like covered in moss, tons of cool trees and stuff. Like this is, this is gorgeous. I've just been like hanging out here in this area for like 15 minutes. You can see the sun's starting to like peek over the mountain behind me. It was shade almost when I, uh, when I came in here but this is gorgeous. Cool bird just flew behind me. What is going on? <laughs> we'll keep on uh, hiking up, keep walking. So we've reached our first intersection of trail. I'm about to head up the uh, Lawrence Trail directly behind me. I'm pretty sure it's only like half a mile, maybe, at most. So I'm gonna go up that, turn around, come back down to this intersection again, go down, I think about one mile down the Oliverian Brook Trail. And then I think we're going up the, uh, I think it's the Square Ledge Trail. I'm not sure, I'll uh, update as I go along, <laughs> but heading up the Lawrence Trail right now.
So we made it to the Olivarian Brook and the Square Ledge Branch Trail. I just stopped real quick, ate a little second breakfast type meal. And we're uh, heading up the Square Ledge Branch Trail now. So this intersects with the Square Ledge Trail. And I've already done parts of this, but I'm gonna keep following this pretty much all the way to Mount Passaconaway. And the plan is camp out near there somewhere tonight and then maybe go up to Mount Passaconaway tonight or early tomorrow. And then uh, we'll figure out what the plan is from there. Uh, we'll be working our way back and we still need to do, I think it's like a mile section of the Square Ledge Trail. So there's gonna be some backtracking at some point today or tomorrow, but we're gonna keep moving. Square Ledge has a pretty cool view. I did it in the winter and uh, yeah, excited to see what it looks like in the summer. So let's do it. So we're working our way up the very steep square ledge trail. We're just a little bit under actual square ledge, but there's a couple viewpoints off here, some really nice views. The trail is so steep. I went down it in the winter. We did square ledge in the winter, and I just remember thinking, we're gonna die going down this trail. We were like snowshoes, spikes, everything just sliding down. It was crazy, but we've now gone up it, or almost up it, and uh, we'll be at square ledge shortly, but some nice views here, so take a look. So we made it down from the steepest part of the Square Ledge Trail, and uh, we're continuing along the Square Ledge Trail. We're at the intersection right now where it meets the uh, Passaconaway cutoff, but we're heading this way. So we're going up toward Mount Passaconaway. It's about uh, a mile or so from where we are, maybe a little more, a uh, whole bunch of elevation. I don't even want to look. It's making me sad. <laughs> Let's just keep rolling, make this happen.
So we made it like 0.2 down the Walden Trail and the water is in fact running. Thank God, if, if it wasn't, it would have been a, uh, it would have been a bad time. <laughs> but filled up, just drinking up a little bit. I might cook down here, but I might not. I might just load up some water and uh, look around for a, a tin site or two. I found one, one or two that would work, but they're not ideal. I mean, ideal doesn't really matter, I suppose, but we'll, uh, we'll make our way up the trail a bit, see what's, uh, see what else is up there too. Get moving soon. So we're out of camp this morning. We're working our way up the Pasta Conway Trail. Found a spot to camp very, very quickly last night. And uh, I slept so good. It's, I think, maybe eight o'clock right now. But uh, yeah, heading up Pasta Conway. It's in and out of clouds right now. So like, I don't know, we'll see what happens. There is a viewpoint, but you gotta descend 200 something feet to get to it. I don't know if I'm feeling that this morning. <laughs> game time decision once we get there.
working our way down from Mount Passaconaway, I uh, decided to skip the little viewpoint you got to drop like 300 feet to. Uh, it's beautiful, but where it's like super hazy and overcast, it just, it's not worth it. <laughs> not worth it at all to me, but there are still some pretty nice views off of here anyway, like going down. So we get this viewpoint right behind us. That's Mount Chikoro over there looking all beautiful and hazy. And uh, yeah, we'll see what else we see on the way down. Hopefully the rain holds up. <laughs> So we made it back to the big intersection with the uh, Kelly Trail, Oliverian Brook, and the Lawrence Trail. So this is where we kind of split off a bunch of directions yesterday. And uh, yeah, it's just like two-ish miles back down now from the uh, Kelly Trail to my car. For about half a mile, uh, it did start raining. <laughs> I almost made it. It started raining about half a mile ago, but luckily it's not like crazy heavy at the moment. The, uh, the trees are catching most of it, but uh, yeah, moving along, crushed the uh, final 0.5. I probably won't record much after this, but uh, fun hike. I'll try to put a map or something on the screen. It was, it was a wild trip and it's just hard to, even for me to like understand where I just went. <laughs> Just knocking out all the trails. Mount Passaconaway was cool to be up there again. Hadn't been up there since I think 2016. And uh, yeah, just enjoyed some nice walking. So that's gonna do it everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, cool. Well, uh, see you around hopefully next time. Take care. <laughs>